This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. As it looks as if it's going to be Troy Johnson who's going to start us off here as the umpire calls play. And we're ready to get things going as it's going to be Troy Johnson. Bit of off spin up against Hogarth. Hogas turns this round the corner and this one's going to run away. Zakarilla or a kill. Here's the field up. Uh, well, it doesn't quite get to him, but they'll come through for a one to start. And a very warm welcome to everybody. I'm afraid you can't just be doing that. Once again, Hogarth, this one is up in the air. And another disappointing start for yet again the Scottish import trying to get going, but he just can't. And again, he's just going to go for one. That's going to be a good catch for Martel Evans as he will pick up some points on the old fantasy dashboard. Yeah, definitely. This one's short and it gets creamed away. That's a lovely looking shot. And, uh, well, Arthur George yeah, hooks this one for six. A nice shot. Slower delivery, but latched onto. That's gone a long way. Bolle, 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 ginna, sauna. Shuka, lug, yeah, that is big. And, well, we've seen plenty of this. We've seen so much of it that, uh, well, normally I get all excited and say, there we go, a bit of sexy cricket, but we've seen a lot of it. That's launched. Oh, that is big. That is mammoth. That is a biz away super six as it sails a long, long away. Just blowing it into the cube a little bit. And this is going to be six more. Shaba, Shaba, Kinda, Sona, Shaka, Lagia, Westfield. Starting to show us what he can do. The left arm spin again. Uh, he goes for it and gets it. Lovely shot. Hits clean through this as Arthur George. So encouraging signs, probably I would say, for the first time with the bat here from Hong George. There's two batters, George and Westfield, are going well. Goes again, but this time, oh, fingertips to it, but can't keep hold of it, can't keep it in the field of play. It's a good effort from the fielder out there, but it's going to be six more. This one along the deck, and oh, well, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Well, that's probably the first glaring, I think, that we've seen, and it comes on match day four. Oh, Actor, maybe it was an actor. That's been played beautifully. What a lovely shot this is. Wonderful timed. And well, there's good and there's big and there's enormous. And that is what Westfield is doing at the moment. Oh, he's absolutely clobbered it. That has gone a long, long way. Just look at it. It's still going. It's still going. There it is. It almost ends up. This is enormous. Look at this. He doesn't hold anything back. What a biggie. Okay, now this is an opportunity. Will it get taken? Yeah, it will get taken. And I yeah, like the way that uh, Harry comes across and takes responsibility of this one. Probably because he feels that Jamie Stones is maybe just a little bit underconfident. After one that goes through him, he says, don't worry, I'll come over, I'll take it. And Harry takes the catch. And that is the end of Westfield. Oh, well, that one is big. It's there. Slot bowling, really, has to be said. And Harry Hankins says, thank you very much. As, uh, well, Harry Strothart comes on to bowl, gets smashed straight back over his head. Boom. <laughs> Shakalagia. This weather's horrible. <laughs> uh. Oh, outside edge. This is going to run away. And it is going to be another boundary. Four more. So Hankins going off nicely this time around. Try to score runs. Try to score plenty of runs. That's the plan. That's what they're looking to do. Well, this one is the nutmeg as a batter. This is Harry Hankins. Let's this go through it, but it's going to go all the way through, and it's going to end up being four bites. <laughs> and it's another piggy. Oh, he gets well underneath this. Does Hankins. That is big. And where's that? Oh, there it is. 
Kevin looks as it went rain. Went, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, can we tell know. you that for free. And it's getting worse. Oh, can I just say worse. with this win, it is really getting worse. You <laughs> said the groundsman was. Oh, oh, well, oh, it oh big, big. Keep an eye on this. He's going in the bushes. <laughs> oh, he's going in the bushes. <laughs> And now, well, after this, a good fielding, he's going to have to get into the stinging nettles. But, hey, I want to focus on the um, on the uh, the groundsman. You said they're getting ready to do something with the covers. They're eating chips, Charlie. <laughs> they're eating chips. Chips. Yeah, you bet I was. Well, this is up in the air. Mansfield underneath it. Oh, fingertips. Very much fingertips, but just can't get there. Just gets over the top of him. And it will be six runs and. Well, the yellow card, and now that adds a little bit of extra salt into the wounds. Yeah. Settle down. Well, this is again going to be another edge. When it rains, it pours quite literally here in Rains Park. Unfortunately for Spencer, it's another boundary that goes against them. Hornchurch finally hitting the correct momentum. <laughs> Last delivery of the over. It's down the leg side. Ooh. Fielder has slipped in the process. Oh, Smashed, and it's high, a great catch. Oh, that's a superb catch. In these conditions, Charlie, I mean, that's Harry Strothard. In these conditions, it's still raining, it's drizzling. The ball is wet. You just saw it had to be wiped well clean and dry before it's bowled. What a good catch this is. Great catch out there once more by Strothard, and that's going to be the end of Hankins. He will go for a very well-made, finally get something going, does Hankins, 38 off 16. Pretty decent spell, but can he stop George getting his 50? And yeah, he can because he's going to finish with a dot. And that one doesn't quite come up. George is having a look around and said, what happened there? He just skidded past me, he says. I'll tell you what happened. It was a dot ball. And that means that we're going to have a chase of around about 142. Hello cricket lovers and welcome back to the European Cricket Series here in England and uh, typically as you'd expect the weather is playing its part as well we've currently a little bit of drizzle around the ground and some dark cl clouds which have brought some of this rain but uh, the umpires and the teams are back out for the the innings now of Spencer but they've got to go some here they're needing 143 for victory you can see the bonus point. Let's see how Zarda starts. It's that, uh, there seems to be some brighter weather in the distance. Hopefully that comes this way and gets rid of some of this rain. So Zarda with the first. And he's played that beautifully. That's going to be four runs straight away. What a lovely shot. We'll be trying to keep things dry here. Now that's a full toss down the leg side. That's going to be four more. And it's a loose full toss. This will plug just to the left of us. That's going to be six more. Manos Riva, Riva, Riva. Eso es seis carreras. And that's the way to deal with the free hit. That one's also full. And that's time. It's been beautifully played out on the offside. And that's just guided in the gap. He's going to be four runs, so it's uh, not the best of starts for Tafel Zada. He's going to go for 24 off his first. It's a magical start. So he makes, well, full toss. This one is going to go all the way. I want to see the height on this as well, Charlie. I think this could be too high as well. Starts with a, a pretty rank delivery first up. This one's pretty rank as well, but it will be stopped because that's been released before the fielder. Oggy, short, Gundy gets smashed and gets what it deserves, really. There's going to be six more. So despite getting over the 100 mark, and you said it, Hornchurch have struggled with the bat. So they've given themselves at least something to try and defend. The start so far has not been good. Shot, really nice shot. The bus is unmoved, stuck in park as this one just sails over. And that's lost. Yeah, remember, Spencer, if they don't win this, they know that the... They can kiss their hopes goodbye as well. Coming back here tomorrow. Four more runs. That's nice. He played. This time is carved.
through the offside. Beautiful footwork. And that's hit pretty firmly and it gets away from Hogarth. This has been crunched and it's a powerful shot off the back foot. All right. And, well, Aww. that is the first of what could be Boom. many. And that's the 50 up for Daniel Adams, by the <laughs> way. As you can see, Charlie definitely is part of the, the Pablo Florin How can you fan not club. Be? Quite easily. As that one gets Ooh. smashed away. And this is clubbed pretty well, but that's going to get in the gap. That's going to be four. And that one, it will go for six. Doesn't and matter. it's going to go into the stronger to together banner. Think it's wickets, that's all I'm going to stay. Oh, oh, that's a great shot. Footwork and executed to perfection by Deeks. So Deeks now finding his touch as well. Hornchurch, they need to get a wicket pretty quickly here. But the ball's going to fly, fly past him, and that one is well going into the bushes. And, uh, and it's going to be once again, Murray is going to have to go get it. He can be a naughty boy sometimes. Oh. Right, opportunity, big moment. It's time for the bus, the flying bus. And he takes the catch <laughs> on the second attempt. And big applause, especially from the likes of Paul Murray, who looks around at us. Yeah! Well, there's Pavel. <laughs> Pavel's in with the celebrations as well. Oh, Pavel, he's a, he's a character, isn't he? And now look, he's now, he's now giving all the coaching. Come on, come on, look, he clapped. Oh, he never stops clapping, this battle. <laughs> he never stops clapping. Oh, uh, what a big, big wicket that is, though. That's what they were looking for. Wide, short third at the moment. That's a good hit. That's a really good Bucci. hit. Really good hit. Just uses his feet, gets to the slot, plays it away wonderfully. Oh, that's smashed. Absolutely clobbered. That's got like a laser. He goes quick, but so does Diggs, and that's going to be a half century for him as well. 50 comes up in 16 delivery. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna, Sona, Felici, Dennis to Diggs as he gets a half century. 109 now for one. And Spencer, they are racing away here. Totally dictated this, and that's another blast. It's going to be six more. Some of this hitting is just, as we say in Spain, impresionante. And that one Oop. is going to go pretty flat. Four, says the fielder. All right, miscue. This could be the moment. It's hovering. And it gets taken. So there you go. Tommy Fletcher gets the big wicket. Deeks will go. And Hornchurch, just like that, are back in the competition. And it's the unlikely Tommy Fletcher that gets the wicket. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's going to be one that goes, look at that. <laughs> This one's going to be down the offside, on the onside, bit of a rank delivery will be four. This is probably, uh, this is a tricky question. Try and work this one out. Don't read it. Just listen to this, ready? And this one is going to be six runs. They only need to fold it. There was a, the biggest, oh. <laughs> okay, then Wagstaff, he's only got eight runs required now. Pavel Florin to bowl. And that one. Well, if he left it, it would have been a wide, but he's going to be four. So that's six and four. Four just needed that. Oh, wow, well fielded. Well fielded, Pavel. <laughs> yep. Again! And that will be it. Done and dusted. It'll be victory for Spencer. So even the superstar, Pavel <laughs> Florin, coming into the side, bowling at clapping. 100 miles an hour, doesn't win. He wasn't having that. He said, he he said come clapping. on, can we keep going? He was still clapping. Uh, credit to them. And hey, Hornchurch, they came out here today knowing that they're out of the tournament. They can't get through to finals day. So they knew they were going to have a bit of fun. And rightfully so. Hey, if you're not enjoying it, what's the point, hey? And uh, But credit to Spencer. They took on the good opening uh, opening couple of bowlers for Hornchurch and they made them look pretty average. Hogarth went for 50 off his two overs and picked up just a single wicket.